Hi, Dave from Buzzy here. In this video, I'll introduce the Buzzy Figma plugin, run you through how it works, and we'll create a simple Hello World app with it. So let's dive into Figma. So here's a simple app design. It's, ba well, it's basically a single screen, a start screen. It's got an image and some text, and that's it. So let's run the plugin. Now to find the plugin, just search for Buzzy in the Figma community, and it'll show up. Now, the first time you run the plugin, you have to connect Figma and Buzzy. So we'll click this connect to Buzzy. This will open in a browser. Here we go. So this is a Figma screen that's asking, it's Figma asking you to give Buzzy access. So we'll click allow access. There we go, we're connected. Um, as it says, we can just jump back to Figma, we're kind of done with this screen. So let's go back to Figma. So here's the plugin, you'll notice it's um, divided into three main tabs, design, publish, and data. We don't really need to worry about data today, we're just gonna look at design and publish. Now you have the option when you first run the plugin on a Figma file to scan it, and it'll look for app screens and navigation based on your prototype setting, your Figma prototype settings. Uh, this app doesn't really have any prototype settings or navigation defined in Figma, so we won't really worry about that. But the way the plugin works is you use the design tab and you can select items in Figma in your design. And in the tab, you notice it shows up. There's our start frame. There's our hello world text. There's our image. As you select items, they'll appear in the plugin here, and this is where we can assign roles, behaviors, and actions to them for our app. So the first thing we need to do is to find a single screen. That's basically the minimum we need to publish an app. So there's a, selected our start frame or screen. In the plugin, we'll define this as a screen. It's the only one we've got, so it's our start screen. If we had other screens, they'd be you could define them as different types. Uh, we could define a screen name if we wanted, but we could just default to the layer name, that's fine. Now you notice this little toggle down here. This is a recently released uh, feature where if you leave that unchecked, the app will publish just as it is. So the frame, the screen frame will be exactly the same dimensions that you've defined in Figma. If you make it responsive, it'll resize to fill, for instance, the browser viewport. Uh, that requires a bit more knowledge and complexity and setup within Figma. You need to make sure that your file is set up correctly for it to behave correctly as it resizes. We won't worry, worry about that today. So that's basically it. We've defined a single screen. Now you notice that we've got this list of items down here. So this is where the things you've defined in the plugin show up. So we can see we've got a single start screen defined here we've got no components no fields defined no actions at this point and so on if you open one of these if you can click on this it'll select that item in the layers panel in figma and jump you straight to it which is a handy way of navigating around as you do things but that's basically it for the design tab we're sort of done so we can just jump to publish now here you'll see that the plugin applies to the single page that we're on. So this is a simple file. We've only got one page, so it's kind of a moot point, but if I had multiple pages, each page could contain a separate app definition or a separate app. Um, you can give the app a name. Uh, again, this defaults to the page name in Figma. In this case, we'll just call it, that'll do, my app. Um, all we have to do here is click convert. Now the first time you run this plugin on a Figma file, you'll need to provide the file key. So that's just in this share dialog here. So you just copy the link, paste it in here, and click continue. You only need to do this the first time you run the plugin on a file. Okay, there we go. Now, it's told us a Buzzy app has been created. It gives us a preview URL. There's a backend URL, which is the uh, link to the actual Buzzy backend for your app, and a QR code so you can scan this with your phone and preview your app on a device. Uh, we'll just click the preview URL. Here it is. 
views and there's our screen uh, if I close this stuff move the plugin close this jump back to the browser there's our app as designed in Figma now if we need to make a change for instance let's jump back into here we'll go to the design tab um, what do we need to do let's change this text um, something a bit more here we go rocket a bit more suited make it a bit fatter uh, let's change the color um, there we go so we've made a design change now we need to update our app all we have to do is go back to the publish tab and update okay and that's completed so if we jump back to our app design click refresh there it is our app's been updated on the fly thanks for watching be sure to check out the rest of the videos in this series and have fun using fuzzy thanks